It's time to stop hiring virtual assistants. In this video, I'll show you how you can literally save hours every single week and potentially thousands of dollars if you're running a business by transforming ChatGPT into your personal assistant, almost like a second brain. So let's get straight into it. Before I talk about the workflows, one feature here, and it depends on the subscription you have, it's called Pulse. You'll see it here on the left-hand side, just under search chats. And you can see it says here, you decide what shows up, what's on your mind lately. And then it almost gives you daily updates about this. So it can be a very good reminder, or it could be um, a daily workflow that you've been working on. For example, as a trader, I research crypto coins. Uh, pretty much on a daily basis. So you can see here it says mapping daily crypto volume surges. Visualize top 15 coins by volume spike. So if I click on this one, you can see here's something I thought you'd find useful in your trading setup. And it gives me a good suggestion about how to lay out these coins in one dashboard. So I could just keep an eye on something like this every single day. And it's easier. It says create an API or integration. So really, really good ideas, again, to help me with my daily workflow, which is manually researching this, which could take me a few hours. And it's trying to suggest to me an easier way I could do it. So for example, at the bottom, it gives you a suggestion. You can ask it these questions as well, but it gives you a suggestion. Do you want a templated dashboard sheet? And I could reply to that, or I could just say, uh, give me some of the code that I can use to put together that dashboard and take it from there. And if you click on curate in the top right, you can actually develop it yourself how you want it to be in terms of um, daily workflows. Next, just on the normal chat, again, even if you have a free access to ChatGPT, you'll be able to do this. Any particular issue you're having on a given day, use ChatGPT as a research assistant. Let's say you're having an issue with your car. I've asked ChatGPT, I have an Audi RS4 and steering is very heavy in dynamic mode. Research online, check the forums, etc., and summarize the most common reasons why this is happening. Prepare it in a table with most likely to least. Again, this will take me hours to do myself, uh, typically. Now all I have to do is wait, come back to the screen, have a look at the table, see what's most likely, speak to some mechanics if I need to, or if it's basic things that I can check myself on the car, I can go ahead and do that too. And it might be something very, very simple that I could um, sort out. For example, if it's just low voltage on the battery. So you see, there's a nice summary here with a potential likelihood, and I can have a look through this. And it, it gives me quick checks and fixes. So just toggle, um, try this and that setting. You might think, oh, it just makes sense just to go to a mechanic. It really doesn't. It costs you a lot of money. And to be honest, um, at least a couple of times I found that ChatGPT did a better job diagnosing something that mechanic couldn't. I got a car bag. And I thought it, the ChatGPT was actually suggesting it was a different issue. Mechanic didn't think so, but the car was still having the same issue even after the mechanic's repairs. And it ended up being the thing that ChatGPT suggested was the issue. It was a control module. Now, by the way, you can take this one step further and do some deep research. So if you click on the plus button, again, it depends on your subscription. You've got a deep research button here where it goes in a lot more depth. Next one, so let's say I'm learning how to use a new skill. Let's say it's an AI skill. I'm learning how to use Notebook LM uh, from Google. So how can I learn that faster? Can this actually help me with a kind of curriculum or something similar? Let's do that. So I threw together a quick prompt there. It's a horrible prompt, but anyway, I'm just saying Notebook LM, prepare for me a three-day uh, crash course, specific practice tasks, some advanced tips, etc. Let's just see what it spits out. Remember, we can go back and forth and we can uh, iterate uh, in terms of response. So almost immediately, it's giving me an idea. So first step, upload a simple source, just a PDF article, generate some summaries from there, ask it to list key topics and questions you should ask about it. Then try doing something a little bit uh, different, like up, uh, upload a link or a YouTube video, which Notebook LM, of course, accepts multiple formats. In the evening, reflect on it. Advanced tip, ask more specific questions, focus rather than ultra broad. And then it goes on to um, uh, day two, where we can actually prepare our own project, for example. And then finally, day three, mastery, where we might get many different sources, maybe 50 different sources to really challenge it, to start creating mind maps, what if scenarios. And notice because ChatGPT has memory, it actually relates a lot of what it's saying to stuff I've done before, I've researched before, or topics I'm interested in, workflows I've used. So it's very relevant, very personal. Next one, decision-making. By the way, just a quick pause. If you're enjoying the content, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. That way I know this is the type of uh, content that you guys are enjoying, and I'll make sure to do much more of it. Let's do a fitness one. So what I've said is last two days, I've done some resistance training and a bit of cardio in the gym. Should I do a rest day today, or should I push a different set of muscle groups, or just do cardio today? Give me the pros and cons of the different options. Ideally, prepare it in a table so I can compare. 
and make a decision. By the way, literally everything I do in ChatGPT, I try my best to get the outputs and tables. As human beings, I, I think we just all generally uh, understand it better. It's more summarized, it makes more sense to us to compare easily side by side rather than having a long string of text. So let's try that. Here is given me a very simple pros and cons. So full day of rest, it allows full muscle repair, reduced risk of injury. Best for, which is really useful. I didn't ask it this, but it thinks that it'd be useful for me and it is. So best for when to choose when muscles are sore. So if I'm feeling very, very sore all over, not at a good sleep, energy is a bit flat, probably a good idea to rest. And it gives me this other option as well of light active recovery. So light stuff, for example, just, you know, long walks. And I like this final summary at the end. Again, we come back and forth with this, but this is a nice summary. Next, complaints. <laughs> I love this one. Once in a while, you'll be, you'll have received a service from somewhere and you're unhappy with it and you need to sort it out. And one of the best ways to do that I found is to put a kind of strong worded letter and create that using AI. So let's do an example. I just said I recently ordered a bed from a local company. I'm not happy with it. Um, they're very strict about their refund criteria. It might be difficult for me to get a refund. And remember, this is just a hypothetical. A lot of the time you get 30 day back, you know, money back guarantee and stuff like that. But anyway, help me with a very strong email. It was actually the quality of the bed I, I, I was kind of unhappy with. Like you see, very detailed letter there where I just have to fill in the blanks, which I can either tell ChatGPT or I can copy and print this onto a piece of paper and just fill it in myself. Now what's really good here is I can escalate this a lot more and I can add a lot more legal jargon if needed. Depends on the country in which you live in, but you can ask ChatGPT based on our local guidelines and laws in you know X particular country. Uh, can you please add that to this? And what's really cool is if you've had some back and forth with the company already, you can say, make this stronger. Even more, what you can do is you can paste their, their response. So let's say you just fobbed you off and they said, you know, we, we don't do refunds. Um, then what do you do then? So let, let me just do that as an example. So I've just said their company states, dear sir, thank you for your email, but we don't, we don't do refunds. Obviously you, you can copy and paste and better just to add a screenshot. If it's a PDF or just an email, just screenshot it into here. You can upload it as a file and you can see it's a stronger reply now and you can, you know, adjust the strength as required. You can say to ChatGPT, actually make this a little bit stronger, make this a little bit more summarized, make this a little bit longer and it will do that for you or write it and it has to be only 500 characters long. It will do that for you as well. Again, saving hours and hours of time here. And you can see at the bottom here, I've escalated it significantly. Uh, I'm, otherwise I'm gonna contact ombudsman, trading standards, stuff like that. So very, very cool way of uh, dealing with these things. Of course, it's uh, for you to um, you know consider what's ethical in these circumstances. And I think if it's fair and there's something that's not right, you should be allowed to uh, put that right and actually speak to the company. So I think this is all very reasonable. Next one, and this seems so simple, but it's probably one of the things I use it for actually the most. This is a, a video, YouTube video, and this is about talking about AI bubble. What I do is I click on um, description here, click on show transcript, and then you can see the transcript on the right, and I just copy it all. And the quickest way to do it is just hit summarize. Summarize, copy and paste it below, and then it's off and running because we just don't have time to watch so many YouTube videos. So sometimes we wanna see some summaries. But remember, you can modify this too. What I love about the summaries nowadays is not just listed as it used to be on ChatGPT like two years ago. Now um, it's nice, it's formatted, it's got different sections, tables, images if needed. This is a very nice, easy summary if I need to save a lot of time because it will only take me a few minutes to kind of read through this. And nice that it's got uh, summaries at the bottom as well. So really, really good summaries now that ChatGPT does. And like I said, I, I, I've I probably used this more than anything else because who can watch hundreds of YouTube videos every single day? What I've discussed there is barely 1% of how powerful AI can be as a personal assistant. So I hope it helps you. And if you found some other uses, please comment there below and we'd all love to read about those as well. Please comment below and we'd all love to read about those and don't forget to subscribe more soon. Thanks for listening.